Blessed be God who loves us so dearly. Greetings of God's love, joy, and peace to everyone and the members of the bigger family of St. Candida Maria de Jesus all over the world. As we open the event with this video presentation, we welcome you all through this song. We lift joyful voices, we lift grateful hearts. We come together as one family. He has the Jesus all over the world. The family of Mother Candida, blessed be God. For eleven years, our mother. Mother found dresses elevated to sainthood to remember her life. She who was poor and humble, she who was unlettered and simple, was called by God to spread His message of love. We celebrate her life, she who listened to God and honored His her life, she who listened to God and honored His will. She who loved God and neighbor, she who loved God's poor, she whose mission spirit was boundless, she's our saint. We remember We hope that this commemorative video on our family's canonization anniversary make us gratefully and joyfully proclaim together. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. May you all be blessed by God as we usher you to a virtual tour of the life and person of St. Candida Maria de Jesus. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of the Lord, says the Psalmist of Psalm 77. To remember the goodness and mercy of God for gifting the church and the world with the person of Mother Founders. Let's begin the first tour, remembering the life of Juana Josefa Cipitria e Barillon.
Juana Josefa Cipitria y Bariola was born in a tiny village called Anduin, north of Spain, on May 31, 1845. She was a weaver's daughter. Neighbors knew one another. People still prayed, and the faith was strong. Humble and unlettered, she served the Sabater family for many years as a domestic helper. What must she have felt when she left her family behind? Did she think of her family back home, the friends and familiar surroundings that she grew up in? Juanita was a selfless person. She had a soft spot for the needy. She was simple and ordinary in the eyes of the world, but she had a very deep relationship with Jesus. And often prayed to the Blessed Virgin ever since she was a child. Everything came from him. His providence, his protection, and mercy. And he was Father. This was the inspiration at Rosarillo, which occurred on April 2, 1869. It was not a good time for Spain. There was political instability, and the government that followed was not friendly to the church. We can imagine how she must have felt. How does one start a school when one can neither read nor write? He sent help in the person of Father Miguel San Jose Herranz S.J. He not only tutored her for two years, but also helped her start her new work and form the first community of sisters. On December 8, 1871, in Salamanca, this new religious family was born in the church. They were called Hijas de Jesus. And from that time on, Juana Josefa was called Candida Maria de Jesus. Like us, Mother Candida had many dreams and hopes. She founded many schools and wanted her sisters to go to many places so that Jesus could be better known. She had her share of successes, but also met with failures and disappointments. She suffered much and often had to exercise a lot of patience. He gave her the strength and courage to go forward and sent people to help when there seemed no one else to turn to. She experienced this, so she turned to God in total trust. Following the way of Jesus for 41 years, she worked intensely to do what could to please her beloved Jesus. She had received so much from God, how could she not give back in return?
this made her actively look for the good of others. That is why she had so many apostolic works. She knew from experience that he would never fail to help her. He would always come in his time in his own way. Her life can therefore be summed up in these words she wrote in 1889. Mother Candida showed a way of relating with God to us and how to respond to His call. We call it affiliation. Jesus was the center of her life, her everything. This trait is called Christ-centeredness or Christocentrism. She may have lived more than a hundred years ago in a world that is different from ours, but her way can be our way too in the world today that we call home. This is called canonization. There was much rejoicing during this event. We celebrated as we continue to do Mother Candida's life, the life of someone blessed who loved Jesus dearly and followed Him closely. But more than this, we celebrate God's faithfulness, His fidelity to His people, His constant help and providence. God never abundance us, and we see this in the life of Candida Maria de Jesus. Remembering the motto and logo of the canonization, and now, the 150 years foundation of the Hijas de Jesus Congregation. In our present time, a time when communication is fast, when part of the world lives in great wealth and another part lives in great poverty, we need people like Mother Candida, to announce, live, and show to the world that Jesus is her life. In Him, we have everything. Candida's way remains true up to this time. Many people have tried it, have followed it, and have become signs of hope and signs of life for others. Our world may be different from Candida's world, our time may be different from Candida's time, but God remains the same, provident, merciful, protective, and loving. Only God can heal our broken world, but God continues to need us so that He can act through us. I will tell of the kindness of the Lord, the deeds for which is to be praised, according to all the Lord has done for us, says the prophet Isaiah. To celebrate God's goodness and mercy in seeing Candace's life of holiness, let's talk the next talk. Celebrating the good memory 
and sacred spaces for listening to the good news. On October 17, 2010, Pope Benedict XVI announced her canonization at the Vatican, drawing the Ijas de Jesus family from all over the world to attend this very special event in Rome. Yo estuve ahí. I was there. I was there. I was there. I was there. October 17, 2010 Crowds gathered early at St. Peter's Square where supporters of the six new saints started taking their place among the gathering crowd. The canonization rites began at 10 in the morning with the grand concelebrated mass led by no less than His Holiness, Pope Benedict XVI. That morning, six holy and virtuous men and women were raised to the altar of saints. Within the mass, the postulators were presented to the Holy Father, followed by a solemn offering of relics from each new saint. Before giving his final blessing, the Holy Father greeted the pilgrims in their native languages. Saluto cordialmente ai pellegrini di lingua spagnola che hanno partecipato alla solenne cerimonia di canonizzazione di questa mattina, in particolare i cardinali e i vescovi, come pure la delegazione ufficiale della Spagna. Affido le figlie di Gesù all'intercessione di Santa Candida, loro fondatrice. Prego inoltre che i nuovi santi servano da modelli per il popolo cristiano, in modo particolare per i giovani, affinché numerosi accolgano la chiamata del Signore, offrendo tutta la loro vita per proclamare la grandezza del suo amore.
Con las manos bien arriba, venga. Bien arriba con las manos, eso es. Porque todos somos una familia, un auténtico mogollón. Una iglesia divertida y aquí la vamos a votar hoy. Porque estamos celebrando la colonización de la madre Candida. Somos una familia, un auténtico mogollón. Está divertida, ¿de dónde vamos a ir? ¡Para mi derecha! ¡Somos una familia! ¡Para la derecha! ¡Como yo! ¡Una iglesia divertida! ¡Vale, a mi izquierda! ¡Somos una familia! ¡Eso es!我们敬祝丰盛并成为圣人。谢谢大家。A person need not to be declared a saint to become one. For me, everyone, ordinary people in any vocation can be a saint, because we are given this grace to be holy persons of God. Of course, we need to live out the gift of holiness. How to be holy is simply doing our daily and usual tasks with full reverence and dedication, no matter how difficult these can be, and accepting and loving other people regardless of race and status in life, just like Saint Candida. <laughs> しかし one of Mother Candida Maria de Jesus sayings, I quote, For 41 years in my religious life, I cannot remember a single moment not offered for God, unquote. Offering our all, our whole being, to respond lovingly to God's divine grace every single moment is sainthood for me.
I am Father Enrico Eusebio of the Society of Jesus from Loyola School of Theology here in Metro Manila in the Philippines. These reflections on holiness and canonization uh, are not really my own. Uh, they are drawn from the written work of Monsignor Robert J. Sarno of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints and the writings of Father Paolo Molinari, SJ, former Postulator General of the Society of Jesus, and Father Peter Gumpel, SJ, former Relator of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. You will recall that on the 17th of October, 2010, Pope Benedict raised Mother Candida Maria de Jesus to the sainthood, together with five others. Every age, every environment has seen and still sees countless Christians who have clothed themselves in Christ, according to St. Paul in his letter to the Galatians, chapter 3, verse 27, surrendering themselves unconditionally to the graces of the Holy Spirit and responding spontaneously to the divine call. It is these people who are justly called saints. These people are as human as ourselves in their limitations, in their characters, their genius, their capabilities and gifts, their learning and culture. They inhabit the same world as we do, children of the same times, the same human predicament. The difference is that they live in such close contact with Jesus Christ as to be wholly taken up with Him, moved and directed by His Spirit. We are simply speaking of people who overcome the world, or better, of those in whom Christ has overcome and now is the master of the world. Everyone is called to give witness to the faith. But some are called to give a more radiant witness of faith and charity, either through the shedding of their blood, that is, the martyrs, or by the heroic exercise of Christian virtues. So what are the criteria for canonization? First, there is a reputation of martyrdom, or in the case of Mother Candida Maria de Jesus, there is a reputation of sanctity. A cause for canonization cannot be started unless there exists a true and widespread reputation. Reputation, a spontaneous, genuine, and broadly spread conviction among the faithful, among the people, that a deceased person is in heaven because the person lived in a heroic manner all the Christian virtues. The second criteria for canonization is a reputation, again, a reputation of intercessory power. Now, such a reputation is ascertained, it is confirmed essentially by the establishment of the fact that many people invoke the servant of God in their various needs and attribute to the person's intercession, the hearing of their prayers by God. Such a reputation must be true and really widespread. These are signs or miracles occurring through their intercession. The heroic exercise of virtues signifies instead that the person in his or her whole life of acting was faithful to the faith, animated by charity, sustained by hope, and that as a consequence, practice the cardinal virtues. For this reason, the person's whole life is to be considered exemplary. This heroism in ordinary daily life is the fruit of a gradual maturing process. Though there might be some uh, most exceptional cases which would presuppose a miracle of divine grace in one's growth towards maturity, 
Now, the person who wants to live the Christian life in a heroic manner must, through God's love and with His help only, make a continuous effort to avoid faults and even the smallest imperfections without, however, succeeding perfectly. We might not succeed perfectly, definitely. This is one of the most mature and essential expressions of Christian heroism. What is that? Knowing to accept our own limitations. That does not give in to discouragement. That does not give in to crucifixion of oneself. But knows only the will to correct oneself quickly and to continue on the Lord's way with fortitude, humility, and serenity. These are treasured lessons for all of us, especially to the Ihas de Su sisters. These lessons are given to us by the example of Mother Candida, as we have reflected today on Her Holiness. Thank you very much. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask whatever you want, and it will be given to you. My Father is glorified when you bear much fruit. It is then that you become my disciples. Mother Foundress was a fruitful vine in the vineyard of the Lord. She was a branch firmly attached to the vine. On her deathbed, she said, For 41 years in the religious life, I cannot recall a moment not lived for God. Yes, throughout her life, she remained in God in spite of seemingly insurmountable challenges and trials. Alone, I can do nothing, but with God, I can do everything. The path she lived was a path to holiness, lived to a heroic degree. The Church confirmed this that day of the canonization. Examples of her fruitfulness Vocations I am for God alone. She attracted five young women who felt the same way, and the number grew more than a hundredfold. Two outstanding fruits. Blessed Antonia Bandres and the servant of God, Vicenta Gilarte. Mother Foundress and Antonita were beatified on the same day. The cause for canonization of Mother Vicenta is in process. Formal education. 
It is my joy to see many children come to our schools to receive Christian education. An illiterate woman called to a seemingly impossible enterprise with a vision way ahead of her time. She lacked economic and human resources. But because she believed, God will sit. It led to the establishment of many schools that followed her characteristic way in educating. Missionary Expansion To the uttermost parts of the world, I will go in search for souls. Few in numbers, yet with great trust in God and tenacity of spirit, she let go of sisters and sent them to other parts of the world so others may hear the good news. The congregation is now in 16 countries, 4 continents. Takeishi Motoko desu. Candida Maria to no deai wa yochu deshita. Kono deai ga watashi no jinsei wo kaemashita. Ima totemo shiawase desu. Social Apostolate Where there is no room for my poor, there also is no room for me. These words, uttered with great conviction, have now flourished into a plurality of forms. Work with the poor in Dominican Republic, Cuba, Bangladesh, Migrants Apostolate Japan, Housing Projects, Medical Mission in the Philippines, Work with refugees in Thailand and many more. Retreat Giving I am very glad that you will be making a retreat. I hope you will profit much from it. The spiritual exercises were very important for Mother Congress and the life of the Ijas de Jesus. Family of Mother Candida. Today, the people who are joining are lay women and men, another way of life in the church. Mother Candida could not intuit the sense of charismatic family that today the Spirit gives us to understand. These are other times, and the Spirit is always acting.
Now, the Ihas de Jesus sisters and the lay walk a shared path together in the one mission of Christ. Yes, we now celebrate 150 years of fecundity. From Juana Josefa, the simple girl from Anduin, to Candida Maria de Jesus, it all started here. Her life and heroic virtues have indeed produced much fruit. There are many more fruits not mentioned here, but written in the hearts of those who had been influenced by her life and example. Pope Benedict said, She was a gift to the Church and to the world. My Father is glorified when you bear much fruit. It is then that you become my disciples. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, says Timothy. We believe that we are called to live a holy life, following the footsteps of Saint Canada Maria de Jesus, who left us a legacy of a kingdom vision, where God is our Father and we are brothers and sisters, corresponsible for the life of all. We now reach the last venue of the virtual tour, believing and taking on the challenge.
la santidad de nuestra fundadora, que hoy recordamos y agradecemos, nos impulsa a estar cerca de Jesús y de los hermanos, a ser esas verdaderas hijas de Jesús que ella tanto quería, a buscar con todo empeño el bien de nuestros prójimos y a manifestar con nuestras vidas la bondad de Dios que a todos hace hermanos. El carisma que nos dejó como herencia nos impulsa a discernir en común, a vivir desde la laudato si y fratelli tutti, a acompañar a migrantes y refugiados, a acercarnos a los jóvenes, a acoger los caminos de futuro de la familia Madre Cándida y a crear espacios para reflexionar juntos, laicos e hijas de Jesús, sobre la educación. Deseamos que estas llamadas sean luz e inspiración en la concreción de nuestro apostolado. Implicarnos en ellas nos ayudará a dar respuesta a las necesidades de hoy y a renovar nuestro compromiso de ir y anunciar. Y hoy lo hacemos en el contexto de una iglesia que ha comenzado un proceso sinodal, haciendo camino juntos, donde el movimiento es consecuencia de la docilidad al Espíritu Santo, que es el director de esta historia donde todos somos protagonistas, nos dice el Papa Francisco. Una frase de la Madre Cándida con la que quiero concluir. Bendito sea Dios que tanto nos ama. Bendecir a Dios es como una de esas frases cortas que deberíamos tener presentes como un mantra de amor y agradecimiento. Porque si hay algo que es cierto es que Dios es Padre nos ama y nos cuida. Que esta certeza sea nuestra mejor manera de agradecer la santidad de nuestra querida Madre Cándida. With great rejoicing, with prayer and thanksgiving, we lift joyful voices, we lift grateful hearts. We come together as one family, He has the Jesus all over the world. The family of Mother Candida, blessed be God. For eleven years, our mother found dresses elevated to sainthood. Remember her life, she who was born. was called by God to spread His message of love. We celebrate her life, she who listened to God and honored His will. She who loved God and neighbor, she who loved God's poor, she whose mission spirit was boundless. Saints. We celebrate her life, she who listened to God and honored His will. She who loved God and neighbor, she who loved God's poor, she whose mission spirit was boundless, she's our saint. Remember, we celebrate.